you know, since since I met you when we connected, uh, it's been a it's, it's been a great relationship. Absolutely. And um, for those on uh, who've seen the uh, the posting that I did when I said, "Hey, I'm taking my little brother to breakfast." This is little brother. So now we're here at brunch. And uh, Justin, how's it going? Everything is well. Yeah. I can play. Good, good, good. Doing well. Very good. How's work? Work is, is hard. Uh huh. But work is good. Uh, have a pretty decent job. Excellent. Making pretty good money. Excellent. Uh, you know, it's very important. Yeah. Ladies like to know that that's the case. <laughs> Ladies love to know that's the case. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Very good. You got one. Yeah, I have a lady. Alright, oh. all right. so we'll leave that right there. Leave that Ain't right gonna there. touch that one too much. <laughs> <laughs> Not at all. Nice, nice. So, um, I know just as, as, as much as you're here, you're really just learning about what we do. Right. Um, and this is our seventh episode. Uh, excuse me, we have seven episodes. This is our eighth episode. And we tend to hit on all the main topics. You know, like, um, as a matter of fact, I'll let you... Uh, Give us your opinion on a couple of them. And I'll just throw the, the title out there and you tell me what you think. Okay. Chris Brown and Rihanna. I actually didn't see that one. Okay. Uh, the face off. Well, what's, um, your, what's your thoughts on what happened? How do you feel about it? Well, I, I heard a lot of different uh, stories mm -hmm. or uh, comments about what people said about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to believe. I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. You know, really, I could care less you know, mm -hmm. what they do. Um, I don't think a young man should put his hands on a woman as well. I don't think a young lady should throw a fit on whatever she did, so, you know, but I don't think it should have escalated to what it did. Yeah. Um, We've been getting a lot of feedback from it and uh, people are saying that she possibly did something to, you know, maybe provoke him or right, something like right. that. Absolutely. So, um, mm. how women have that way of you know, trying to get under your skin, mm -hmm. and she, she did that. Mm. So he wowed up. I'm not saying it's right, but sure. I'm sure she egged him on. Interesting. I'm sure she did. What about um, religion? Do we need it? I think we do need religion. Mm -hmm. uh, I say that because you need some kind of direction. Um, but I think uh, religion most times is it's just like it's too much like they want they expect a lot out of you mm -hmm. depending on what religion you're you're in um and it's just like a bunch of people it's like peer pressure in a sense like the way i see it oh if i'm baptist i gotta do this this way because mm -hmm. you said it like i ain't read that in the bible mm -hmm. like certain things uh, with religion it's like pressure they pressure you to do it this way do mm -hmm. it that way my yeah. way is the right way and they they also um and religion tend to down another religion, a sect of religion, mm -hmm. and big up theirs. Like, I, I don't think any of that is necessary. You yeah. know? I think if you're Baptist or Pentecostal or whatever, mm -hmm. you should just, just love love God, love the Lord, do whatever it is, how you worship or whatever you do, and that's it. You shouldn't have to be pressured to, I don't know, just do it their way or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I think all that's nonsense. You're involved with the church now, right? Absolutely. Yeah, what are you doing with that? Uh, I go to a Pentecostal church okay. who now is kind of persuaded uh, into orthodoxy, okay. which they call, um, they say it's the right way, like hmm. the right way to worship. Just as right you were talking about. Yeah, yeah. Right. And um, in my church, I'm, I play the drums at the church. Okay. Um, more recent, more recently, they were trying to make me a deacon, mm. and I, honestly, in my heart, like, I would rather not be a deacon. Mm. I would rather be that guy at the back door mm. passing out the the programs and, and the envelopes. Usher, possibly. Usher. I, I can do that. I can <laughs> okay. usher you to your seat, and I'm fine with that. But now you, you want to make me a deacon? You know, put this title on me. I would think you would let me decide or say, you know, at least accept it mm -hmm. willingly, like, you putting deacon on me. Nah, yeah. I'm, not a, I'm not a deacon. Mm -hmm. I'm Brother Justin in the back. Sure. And I'm fine with that. Okay. And I'll still give God the praise that he deserves. Right. In the back. 
helping you get to your seat. Very nice. <laughs>